Hey there, Sharon Horn Elsmere. Welcome to day 2459 of What You Have to Know, Documenting the Journey. Uh, sharing the good, the bad, the ugly, what works, what doesn't work, when my throat doesn't work. Every day, for the most part, uh, I think I missed the day I had COVID. Uh, Christmas Day 2019, I actually had COVID early, earlier than it was supposed to be in the United States. Uh, and I did not post that day. Did not get off the couch that day except to go to the bathroom. And then my sister left food at the door because I was, of course, not invited to Christmas. Luckily, most of my family was in Florida, so, <clears throat> and Texas, I guess, Florida and Texas back then. So anyway, I'm going to talk through this quickly because I don't have much voice and I'm sure it's not going to last much longer. Today, for the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we're talking about the Lifeline exercise. And this is the one I've used since 2020 when I started sharing this online. It's one of my favorite tools for reflecting back and looking at what's important to me, big events in my life that had a huge impact on me. And I had some ahas about this today. Number one, looking back and creating a lifeline exercise, 2020, hindsight is 2020. We can see very clearly the impact and what are the big events when we're looking back. And I noticed that because from 2020 on, I have very few big events written on my lifeline. Now I use another lifeline so that I can uh, use all the different uh, life framework areas. I use nine life framework areas as well to kind of pay attention to the different things in my life that are, are most important. I learned a seven part framework in the, the late eighties from Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn. And I used that for decades. And then following the pandemic, I realized I wanted some coaching and some core skills of communication and confidence. And so I added those two categories to the life framework. And now I set lifelong legacy goals and continuous improvement goals in those areas, as well as physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships and contribution. How am I showing up in the world? How am I doing financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually? Because sometimes we forget to include and realize that we're a, a whole human being. We're not just our work. We're not just our business. We're not just our, our roles in life. We are a very complex ball of things. And we need to consider all those parts of us uh, as we're moving through our life and creating the life that we want. Because no one's going to create our life for us. Only we are. So we talked about the lifeline exercise today with respect to communication growth, because this year's annual challenge, of course, is the let's grow annual challenge. So we're covering and we've covered this is our last month of specific life framework area coverage and we're talking about communication. I don't know why I save communication for last. Sometimes I do it at the beginning of the year. Sometimes I, I mix it up every year. I do it. This is my actually seventh year doing an annual challenge online. I started doing them as a way to wake up my voice in the morning so I could share the content I wanted to share and communicate uh, through technology. Uh, in a more confident way. So that was the reason I started doing it. I'd always done annual challenges for myself, but I really kept it as one of those, hey, this is my personal success tool. I'm not necessarily going to share it with anybody. And then I'm like, why would I not share this? It works for me. And guess what? The vast majority of people you share all your knowledge and wisdom with aren't going to do anything with it. It's heartbreaking because you know you could make their life so much easier but everybody has their own epiphanies at their own time. We can't force it. We can't motivate people. They have to be motivated by themselves. We can't make them do anything. They have to choose to. And the truth is 97% of the population is just never going to choose to do it. And that's okay because they have to do what's right for them. For Super Size Your Business, we did number 70 of the fundamental Super Size Business strategies today. And I kind of ran out of my list. That was my original list was like 70 things. And so I have to decide what am I going to do tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Uh, I might ask, do y'all want to see this in a book format? Do y'all want to see it as a course? Maybe not 70. Maybe I pick the top 20, the top 10, the top five, and share those in maybe a special free report or something. Uh, I think I, I decided this morning as I was thinking about this, I think I'm going to survey a bunch of my most successful friends and say, hey, what are your top five or your top 10 business strategies that you use in your business now or in any business that you start, you learn? Those are critical. You got to have them. Uh, maybe I'll start there. I don't know. I got to think of something next. Uh, I got tired of, of different topics, but maybe I'll jump back to my topic list because the beginning of this year, I did a 
list of 365 topics to talk about in terms of supersizing and growing your business. So maybe I'll just pop back to that for a while. Maybe I'll pop back to that for a while while I am writing a book about the top strategies to supersize and grow your business, no matter what business or industry you're in. Because the whole purpose of the fundamental discussion is, hey, no matter what kind of business you're in, you need to at least consider these strategies and maybe you're not gonna, maybe you're gonna consciously choose to not apply it right now, but it's like building a house. If you build on a solid foundation, if you make sure you've got the foundational, really fundamental ones in place, then it's easier to build and scale and grow and supersize your business. That's my whole point. All right, if I can help you anyway, ask. I would probably prefer not to talk much today. So if I don't have to talk to you, you can text me or message me or whatever, or you can always box for me. If you know my box or you know. All right, have an awesome day and I'll of course be a big mom.